Lou Grant talks about his current relationship with the only remaining member from the original lineup of Foreigner, Mick Jones. And we talk about Lou Graham's supergroup, Shadow King, which only lasted for one album. Coming up on Rock History Music. I know a lot of you have been asking about helping the channel. There is now a link to PayPal where you can donate to Rock History Music. It's at the very top of the description of every single video. Thanks. Here's Lou Graham. Uh, what's the relationship with Mick now like? And by the way, what do you think of Kelly, their singer? Two questions. Uh, Kelly is all right. He's a good singer, but 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 I think Mick really told Kelly when he first got in the band that he had to study me because he sings those songs with the same musical innuendos and and vocal licks and ad libs as I have. He, he's he's mimicking me. He, his voice doesn't sound like me, but but he's singing the song. The, the way I would sing them, you know, and, and I don't, you know, some people say, well, take it as a compliment, Lou. I don't take it as a compliment. You know, you're a singer with a big band like that. Use your voice and your style. Don't, don't hang your coat on my hook. Yeah. But do you think the, fa the fans would accept that? that, that uh, um, or do you have more faith in the fans that maybe they want? Yeah. I, I mean, I, I, I don't, I don't think he should, sing the songs verbatim like me you know maybe sing a couple parts but but let his own influences show show the fans that he's the new singer no not me what was it like uh, what was it like when you were sharing the stage with him when you came back for those select shows it, it, it was okay he 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 was bouncing off the walls you know he he, he couldn't stand still or sit still uh, I couldn't get an, after a song ended, I couldn't even get in a word to thank the audience or tell them that I was happy to be part of the reunion. At, at the end of the song, the last note hit and, and there wasn't a quarter of a second of space before he was yapping away to the audience. Hey, it was like, geez, will you quiet down for a minute? So is that over now? Is that over now for you and Forner? I think so. Yeah, I don't want to be part of it. Well, you know, Ian has passed away and, and Ed Gagliardi passed away, even though he wasn't part of the reunions. Two original members of, of the six are, have now gone. Yeah. A and Mick is in very poor health. I think when, when the new foreigner plays, I've heard that he comes on for one song and then waves and goes off stage. Yeah, I'd heard he wasn't there for the whole thing. I didn't I didn't know it was one song. I but uh, yeah. It, it was it, he would play the whole last half of the set. But but then he was in the hospital again for weeks. He he had some some heart problems. And and, and his recovery time was was very long and tedious. And, and I've heard that he comes on for one song now. When he comes on, most of the time, Foreigner has no original Foreigner members in it. Oh, sorry. One last thing. Uh, Shadow King. Uh, uh, so many people wanted me to ask you, why did that band uh, end? The band ended because we got no support from Atlantic. None. No, no promotion for that killer. Did you hear the album? Yeah. Wasn't it a good album? Yeah. Great songs, uh, very heavy, very melodic. It, it should have been a huge hit. Atlantic didn't support it at all, didn't promote it. Uh, 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 we played one, sh we should have been on tour for months. We played one show at, 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 a, at, a, at, a club, at a rock club in London. I'm trying to think what, what the name of the place was. I can't think of it, it escapes me. And, and the place- Wasn't it was recorded? Called? It was recorded, right? Yes, it was. Yeah. And it was wall to wall people. And, and, and the show went down a storm. That was our one and only show. We never got on a tour in Europe or in the States. Atlantic didn't promote the, I, I, I went to so many stores and was thumbing through that section. And I'd see all the foreigner albums, maybe one of my two solo albums and nothing from Shadow King. And I know who, who commiserated with with Atlantic executives to keep that, to stifle that album. 
That that album not getting recognition to me is a crime in music. It's a crime, but but there's people who can can talk to the Atlantic executives and make that happen. Yeah. yeah. Do I need to name him? No, that's I mean, <laughs> it's okay. Because he told them that that if Shadow King goes big, Lou will Lou will never consider coming back to corner. And it was after that that I went back and we recorded Mr. Moonlight. Okay, but, I'll probably. I, I I I was I was sick for months about it. The, the, you know, the guy who produced the album it was it w- was uh, uh, the guy who did Double Vision, Keith Olsen, mm-hmm. produced Shadow King. Mm-hmm. It was an exemplary album. The production was killer. It, it had everything going for it, and it never even you know if if it had marginal success. It would have been something, but but there's so many people when I mention Shadow King that go they go Shadow who? A lot of people mentioned it when I asked. A lot of people mentioned that band when I asked. Hey, thanks for watching, and remember, make sure you like our videos. We really pay attention to that. It helps the videos perform better. Subscribe to our channel. We're reaching a hundred thousand real soon, and by all means, share our videos on groups or on your Facebook page or on your Twitter. And of course, we read all the comments. And I know a lot of you have been asking how you could help the channel. If you want to donate, we now have a PayPal link. It's at the very top of the description of every video, including this one. And we thank you in advance. I'm John Bowden. This is Rock History Music. More from Lou Graham in just a few days.